dressing does not cause rape. The way you dress, I don't think it's the reason why some guys um, rape ladies. Because I'm going to use myself um, as an example because I'm a victim. And uh, I would love to share this story on life. So it happened that 2009, I was living with a family. Then I was 12. Their first son was 30 then. And the couple, they are, el- they are, they, they are aged already. And they travel all the time. So we have to stay with their son. And then one of their grand, granddaughter that was at so seven, eight years old. At first, I didn't, un- I didn't know maybe he's a psychopath. I don't know if he's a psychopath, but he called me on a normal days that I should come and help him with something in his room. So I walked into the room and uh, he locked the door. Luckily for me, in the compound, we have a tenant. So I started screaming and those people that, that rented the, the room, they came out and that was how they saved me. So are you trying to tell me that I was dressing um, immorally mm-hmm. and that's the reason why he behaved so, um, in such manner? So I don't think the way you dress um, will attract a man to rape you. Anybody that sees it that way, I think the person is possessed by an evil spirit. I don't think your, the way you dress does not relate to raping at all. And that's what I can say about dressing code in rape. Thank you so much. And we are, uh, at least we are happy that, you know, we are told you have to rape in such a way that, you know, it, it could have amounted to something uh, uh, bigger. And we are very, very happy that you're able to, you know, share part of your story. It's a very it's a sad story. And, uh, we are sorry about that. So, Camilo, you had what she said. What do you have to add just briefly? Yeah, basically, from what she just told us now, mm. at least, just like as you said, you say, thank God that she got rid of you. You know, when people, when people say the way they stress, listen, this is 2020. As early 90s, the kind of cars, Mercedes, they drive then, is not the kind of Mercedes we drive now. 90s, we used to have one night, um, 200 V boots and the rest of them. But now we drive G Wagon, E class, S class. So, how do you expect a modern, a, a modern, a modern age girl, this is 2020, to dress like our mothers in the 90s? Dressing has nothing to do with rape. If you rape a girl, because of her dressing, that means you must be sick. Something must be wrong with you. That means you you won't be able to live in a Western world anyways. Because let's say, let me use London as an example. Like it's summer right now here. If you come to the street on a very good sunny day, you see girls, even more of our black girls, walking on the road naked. You won't even say nothing. You can only just look and go. And you can't even look for like, I, I want to, I want to her to notice that I'm looking at her. Because if she turns around and finds out that you're looking at her, she's going to come after you. And she will win the case. So if you're in Nigeria taking advantage of our sisters, and more especially all these, our brothers that used to go to the village and get some girls to be their house girl. Some of them molest those girls. They molest them. They rape them. You see a girl of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years. What has the addressing got to do with their, their uncles or whomsoever that they live with? Got to do with them raping, raping the kids. Threatening them. If you, if you tell your auntie, I won't pay your school fees. If you tell your auntie, I'll send you back to the village. The little girl will be dying in silence. Dressing has nothing to do with this. Anybody, a rapist is a rapist. There's nothing. If you like, put get a woman with, that is wearing iron proof all over all over their body. He wants to do something. Thank you. 